Hey, 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 Sunday night. Energy focus for the week. I am down here at the beach. How's everybody doing tonight? Come on and enjoy me. Terry Ann Hyman here, my Empowered Spirit Show, where I come on live. We talk about the energy of what's going on. And we look at the cards for guidance. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What a beautiful night out. I'm down at the beach, last minute. Something that I'm not the best at doing, last minute plans. But hey, I'm trying to break some of my old habits and really just kind of open up to adventures and experiences. So I'm down here on the Gulf. Beautiful day. Look at that. I'm in the sun. I haven't been in the sun in so long. And that's really kind of where we are in the cosmic field of what's going on in the universe. It's like taking changes, making shifts in our lives, letting go of the old ways. And sometimes that can be really difficult and really hard. So first and foremost is the Cosmic Forces. Talking about the podcast this week, I had on famed astrologer Susan Miller talking about the rest of the year, all the energy going on, that grand mutation as she calls it. And into the end of uh, the year and into 2023. So check out the podcast. She also has her astrology zone up. Check out her forecast as well. And she has a brand new app out, which tells you about moon void, of course. Does the moon sleep? She calls it when the moon is sleeping, which is a really fun concept to think about. And looking at the when the moon goes in between the different zodiac signs is what you call void, of course, and what you should and shouldn't be doing or better ways to use your energy. Let's say that. No shoulds in astrology. For sure. Astrology is a predictive science and it can help you really plan, understand, and really kind of understand where you are in the scheme of life and how to really direct your life. That's how I look at it. Check out the podcast. She's a lot of fun. She gets into fun conversations. We talk about the digital age. We talk about the energy of air and all the many aspects coming forward. So this way, hey Mercedes, how are you? Hey Mercedes, hey Ernest, what's going on? So this week in the cosmos, we're building to the full moon, all right? We're still in the energy of the sun sign of Virgo. We're building to that full moon next Saturday. So next weekend, we'll talk about it a little bit. So it really is a time to open up to the last part of summer, all right? Summer is all about your growth. So it's a good time to kind of close the energy, reflect on the growth, reflect on what's going on for you, look at where your vibe is and your energy is, and really appreciate your gifts because very soon we move into the energy of fall. In a couple of weeks, on the 22nd, we move into the energy of the fall. Now, when we move into the energy of fall, I will be activating my 21-day challenge. Again, it's all in the Energy Mastery app. 21 days for 21 minutes a day to help you reset your spiritual path. To really work on focusing the third eye. To strengthen your boundaries, your energetic boundaries. Something we all need, including me as well as really opening up that channel of light to radiate your greatness and your energy. I think I'm gonna bring the focus into a little bit of like really bringing in the confidence of having your own intuitive abilities, having your own spirit, having that guidance for you to open up and really appreciate. Because in the fall, we talk about harvesting. We do talk about transitions and cycles of life. So sometimes the fall is not always the easiest season. But it does help you to learn to use the growth of your own spirit to move through transitions in your life. Now, the other thing you hear everybody talk about this week is Mercury retrograde. All right, Mercury goes retrograde three, four times a year, depending on the calendar. And this is like one of the, the faster moving planets, so it does wreck a little bit more havoc. Now, one of the other things going to happen is a lot of the planets are going to start to go retrograde, especially the outer planets. Some of them already have. The outer planets take longer. This is what we talk about with Susan Miller as well on the podcast. So really that Mercury retrograde is what they always tell you about. Travel, back up your electronics, be careful. It doesn't mean hide. It doesn't mean get it all into the drama of a Mercury retrograde. But it really does mean for you to really kind of just check your plans, check your communication, all right? And we're already into the shadow of it. So that even means even right now, like check what you're saying, check what you're doing. I know I just got into a little bit of thing where maybe I shouldn't have said what I said, right? So we just own it and then we just allow ourselves to really take a pause, be present, and really think about what it is that you really want to say and how you want to communicate. Now we're going to have a lot of energy coming up in this month of September, right? We just moved into September of this retrograde energy and it's going to allow you to look at kind of like the energy of where you were pre-COVID, during COVID and projects that may have gotten stalled. So it is a chance to, re to kind of review, renew, relook at 
your energy then and where you are now. Again, those transitions in life. Where's your path changing? What are those transitions? And what tools and what skills do you need to build that confidence to step forward in your life? I know for myself, you know, I had last week, I was up in Vancouver when we did this last week. And now I'm down at the beach and allowing myself to really work on getting out of my comfort. It's not always the easiest. All right, it's not always the easiest to make changes, to rewire the brains, but this is why I do what I do. Teaching the tools, teaching you to tap, teaching you to use Reiki, teaching you to breathe even so that you can get out of the chatter of the mind. I use them myself. I do them for, for every number of reasons, right? Just really so that I can break up my struggles. So I offer this to you. It's a fun time to do the challenge and really kind of dedicate 21 minutes a day. We all can do 21 minutes a day to building that path and building that inner confidence for your own life. So this week, it really is important just to notice, do all your backups on all your digital equipment, all your communications. If you're traveling, double check your plans. All of that kind of energy is coming forward, which can wreak a little havoc on your life. So we do want to be prepared. And I think just knowing about it can help you to do that, all right? And that's one of the things that with astrology, when you know things are coming up, it helps you to look at your calendar. It helps you to make better decisions, right? It's like one choice or the other. If you know things are coming around, maybe it's better to go with that second choice. So that's where we can look at that as well. So I think as we move through this week, continue to open up to the end of summer, right? We're not done with summer. I know this weekend is like holiday and like the first where we start to wind down summer, right? But we still have a few more weeks. And it's important that you use this time to really recognize the growth, the changes, the shifts that the season has brought to you. Allow yourself to slow down. And I really think that like that's key right now. We all get so fast. We all get so busy. Now, the tendency is going to be inspired by the fall, right? How many people love the back to school, right? This shopping, we were talking about that tonight at dinner, like getting all those supplies. So we feel this energy, but with the retrogrades, you're going to feel like you're not getting anything done. You're going to feel like you're kind of walking through the muck, right? So you have to be present to that. And the best way to do it is use your skills, use your meditation. Really allow yourself to slow down to bring yourself into the present moment. All right, I think the retrograde, I think it officially begins on Friday, but we're already in the shadow of it. So again, check your electronics, back up your work, back up your documents, notice your voice and the way in which things come out. And sometimes they can come out a little bit too abruptly, all right? I just kind of experience that. And so I just kind of like say, okay, I'm sorry. And I own up my part to it. And that's what we need to do when we have frictions and when retrograde energy comes forward, being aware of where you are in your own energy is going to be very helpful. <laughs> All right, so that's really the work that we have this week. Slow down, ground your energy, get into some of that Virgo energy and start to prepare. Pisces full moon is coming, and Pisces is that sensitive part of all of us combined with the retrograde energy. So really just being careful and also to the Mars. Mars is a big, like, kind of aggressive energy that's going to start to go retrograde as well. It hasn't already, but we have this force of energy. So we just really have to be present, look for the signs, pull the energy in. All right, so let's just take a moment and pause, breathe, and begin to pull your own energy in, calling it back from the week and from all the many things that you've been through. So if you can, just take a moment, close your eyes, lighting a little sage here, and just exhale all the way down, deep into the earth, letting go of the day, inhaling and just bringing that breath all the way back up, and exhale, sending that breath all the way back down. Inhale as you expand through the belly, the side ribs, opening the breath. And as you exhale, pull your energy in, slowing down, grounding. Call in your energy, call in your spirit. Feel that energy coming in around you. Taking another deep inhale and just opening up that energy. Exhale, keeping the energy open, but becoming present. Slowing down, feeling the breath moving all the way down, deep into the earth. Inhale, expanding through the heart, right in the very center of the heart. Feel that connection you have with the greater spirit, your spirit. Know that you are known, know that you are loved. And just feel all that energy coming in around you, supporting you, loving you, grounding you. As you take this time to really call in the spirit guides, the crystal beings, the masters, the teachers, the angels, and just feel all the support in all the realms possible. 
coming in for you, taking a moment, noticing where you are in this great wheel of life, in this late part of the summer energy, finding yourself in the direction of the south, very close to moving into the west direction, and just feel and honor the growth coming in for you right now. Notice your work, notice what you've done, and right in the very center of your heart, setting an intention for this week for you to shine, to be aware, to feel the gratitude of your life. Taking another deep inhale and exhale and just sending that breath all the way down, slowing down, feeling the love in your heart, feeling those elevated emotions for your intentions this week. One more deep exhale all the way down, grounding your energy. Just blinking the eyes open, coming back. Feel that shift of energy for you. All right, so we have some good cards. The first is the Hermit, and this is all about shining your light, knowing your energy, not being afraid to go within and ask those bigger questions. Look, he's got the lantern. He's got his own staff, which shows a lot of growth coming forward. He's wearing a deep cloak of dark blue. So it's about going within you, knowing your light. Not what everybody else tells you, but knowing your energy and taking some time for you. Maybe tomorrow you'll have a day off, right? Then the other cards that come in for the influence, three of fire. So this is like a card that asks you to witness your life, like pull back a little bit and see all the many things growing as above, so below. And this is your passion and your desire. Is that in balance for you? Is your mind and your heart in alignment with where you are, your purpose, your work right now in the world? I love this card. This is a great card for the summer season, the sun. So this is like success. The sun is shining. You're doing your work. Even sometimes we may not feel it, but know the sun is shining on you to guide you through the lessons, to learn the growth. Beautiful third eye energy here, beautiful yellow. Look at it shining along this path, your path for your life. And then the daughter of air. I love this card. This is like, yes, let me be curious. Let me open my mind, all right? I know Mars is in Gemini energy. Gemini helps us to open the mind. So we want to really be open right now to new possibilities and having the innocence of like that daughter energy. Let me just try this or let me try this and not having the judgment that we place on it, all right? And it is of the air, so it is of your mind and the way in which you think about things coming in for your life. So don't be afraid to shine your light. Don't be afraid to slow down so you know your light. As above, so below. What can you bring out into the world? What can you witness in your own growth for the summer season? Find the success. There's got to be some somewhere, all right? And then be curious. Open your mind to new possibilities, especially as we go from one season to another. So take a deep inhale. Let me know how those resonate with you. If you'd like a card, I'll be happy to pull a card for you. Let's see. This week we have we have the Healers Playgroup. I want to give a big shout out. So my... My friend and colleague Tina Conroy from the Intuitive Women Podcast is going to be teaching the master class for our Healers Play Group. It's a great group. They're based out of Minnesota. They are really just like so much fun to practice and learn tools with. So they're doing a group. It's Thursday night. The link is in my bio. Come join us. It's open to everybody. If you want a group to practice with, if you want a group of people that talk your language, come join us. All right, that's Thursday night. I think it, believe, I think it starts at 630 but the information is in my bio. If you've been coming to my energy yoga classes Tuesday, they switch time 8.30, 8.30 to 9.30 though. I'll still get you out in an hour. Come join us and restorative on Friday over at the yoga circle for sure. And then of course the radiant light challenge begins September 22nd. All right, let's see. Marissa says, yay, Vancouver. Hey, Marsh, are you still here? All right. Brittany and Summer. All right, so Brittany, your card is the Wheel of Fortune. Things are turning. Things are bringing you luck and fortune. So this is an opportunity, like if there's something new you want to do, if there's an idea you've been wanting to go forward with, the universe is like saying this is a good opportunity. Your luck is turning. Things are looking up for you. Honor that Wheel of Life. A beautiful card. I love that. Summer. Summer, the Tower card. All right, so your birthday's coming up. This is about things breaking down so that you can rebuild. So sometimes we can look at this like, oh my gosh, and sometimes we can get, okay, I get it. I know where I need to like start some new growth for me. And every time we come around to our birthday, we tend to go through this kind of melancholy issue or feelings, what is coming up for me in the year ahead. So this is a good card that just says it's okay to be questioning 
things that you're questioning and letting go of things that don't work. All right, give me some thumbs up for that. All right, Mark, I miss you guys. Mark, you got the three of earth. So this is an opportunity to kind of ground in the summer energy, to look back and see what is building. All right, you see how it's like an observation. So it's like that initial observation when you notice what is working in your life. What's the collaborations going on? How can you sit back? Earth is our physical world. And really just appreciate. It's got some of the warm, creative colors. And appreciate what is growing and what is working in the creativity that you bring into the world. All right, Maris. Maris, we got the six of water. This is just an opportunity to feel a lot of love. Six is harmony. Water is the emotional energy. And just feel like all those blessings. You've had people visiting you nonstop. So it's like just take in that you're loved and you have so much love around you. And it's like that innocence of love as well. Feel the heart. Feel the harmony of your own life, especially as you rest and recover, right? Mercedes. Mercedes, you've got the hanged man. So this is a great opportunity. Take this weekend especially. Hang upside down. Get a different perspective. See how you feel about the world. From really just letting all the energy kind of rest and have patience with yourself so that you can use your own perspective in a different way and look at your life from a different way of looking. All right. Who did I miss? If I missed you, let me know. Some great cards coming forward. And I'll be honest, like right now, I've got some hearts there. Right now, we are in transition. Everybody is. We're all looking at ways to redo things that we want to bring out into the world. And sometimes it's hard to make the changes. But there are tools. There are possibilities. Building a spiritual practice can really help you to really open up to a deeper part of who you are and let go of some of the struggles. All right, check it out. Come join us in that 21-day challenge. All right, Mercedes says thanks. Got some hearts. Thank you, Brittany says too as well. So let's just take a moment, pull the energy in, returning to that intention that you set for yourself for this week. Open your heart with gratitude for your spirit. Gratitude for the greater spirit. Gratitude for your path. Feeling this energy focusing out ahead of you for your intentions this week. Truly grateful for each and every one of you. Check out the podcast with Susan Miller. And thank you so much for joining me tonight. To your spirit. Namaste.